Hi, my name's Joel Gibbards. I'm the founder of the Open Hand Project and the creator of the dexterous robotic hand. The aim of the Open Hand Project is to make robotic prosthetic hands more accessible to the people that need them. At the moment, these devices do exist, but they can cost up to $100,000, and they're not usually covered by national health services or health insurance policies. The Dextrous can offer comparable functionality to leading robotic prosthetic hands at one hundredth the cost. Two of the main reasons that these devices are so expensive at the moment is the materials and the customization. Instead of using high cost materials like titanium and carbon fiber, we can use 3D printing and a durable plastic compound called ABS. To avoid the need for custom fitting, the Dextrous is built so that it can connect to an existing prosthesis. Out with the old, in with the new. I think it's certainly going to enable me to do the finer things in life, which I haven't been able to do at the moment with the hook. Um, if anything, it is lighter. Peeling, that's something I could never do before. It may sound stupid to some people to chef. It's a big, uh, monotonous, boring job, but nonetheless one that needs to be done. I would be proud to wear this. I, it would make me feel more confident, um, certainly. And I think there are a lot of people out there who it would make feel more confident too. National Instruments have already got behind the Open Hand project, providing industry-leading test and measurement equipment. This means that expert testing methods can be used to ensure the hand is reliable and durable. I originally developed the Dexterous Hand as part of a project at the University of Plymouth, where it won awards for engineering excellence. At the time, what I didn't realise was that it takes more than great research to truly make a difference. You have to take technology out of the lab and into the hands of the people that need it. The hand works by picking up signals from the user's muscles. When you flex a muscle, it gives off a signal which can be detected on the surface of the skin. Electrodes pick up these signals and send them to electronics in the hand. It then reads this information and works out which movement the user is trying to do and executes it. Each finger is individually actuated by a high-efficiency DC motor. It uses feedback to work out when it can feel an object in its grip. This means that it can grasp delicate objects without breaking them, but can still unlock the force to grasp heavier items when needed. The fingers use tendons, just like a human hand, which gives the dexterous a natural gripping ability that can be used to handle objects of all different shapes and sizes. The Open Hand project is designed to cater for academics and robot builders as well as amputees. The Dexterous Hand will come in three different flavours. The Dexterous, the Dexterous EMG and the Dexterous Research. If you pledge just £15 you'll get the Open Hand project touchscreen gloves. They're perfect for keeping your hands warm on cold days when you want to use touchscreens. Seeking funding from companies would introduce an unwanted business focus to the Open Hand project, because investors would want returns on their investment. This makes crowdfunding the ideal platform for the Open Hand project. That's why I need you to help realize these goals. With your help, over the next year I'll perfect this design, making it even more fluid and robust, as well as designing and prototyping all of the electronics that are required to make it work.